Hi, my name is Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm Brad Pitt. I'm Keanu Reeves. I'm the Fresh Prince. And uh, they tell us you're watching E Channel Television. E they... Entertainment Television. Oh, well, E stands for entertainment, is wow. that right? Mask, why are you ripping me up here, Professor Bart Cliff? His name's Walker Lovejoy. <laughs> hey, I didn't name him, you know. I like, I pleaded, right? But that's his name, anyways. We don't get to pick our names at birth, right? He's a kid who uh, pretty much things came easy to him. You know, we all go through that time, you know, when, when we're out on our own now all of a sudden, and uh, we form our own views, and uh, basically it's what the show's about. They just all go on their different routes. What's my character? I don't know. He's an idiot. No, no, I had no idea really because I grew up in Missouri. Missouri? Missouri. And that's not really an option there, you know? <laughs> not a whole lot of acting going on in, in old Missouri. So how did you get there? Good graces of God, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was actually. Picked up and moved, I don't know. I wanted to see something more, you know? You drove out, didn't you? Yeah, I drove. That's how it all. That's how it all happened. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be a truck driver. I'm gonna get a semi and drive trucks. He thinks I'm joking. Aspirations to be a producer or director. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, no, no. I got other things going on in here. You ready for startup? No, it comes with the territory, but that's not where the satisfaction comes. Look who's here, Will. Hey. Who is he? Uh, basically, uh, a guy named Benny Medina, he's the vice president of A&R of Warner Brothers Records. He came up with the concept because it's loosely his life story. I'm coming from Philadelphia to Bel Air. He went from Watts to Beverly Hills. So, you know, I met him uh, probably oh, eight months ago. You know, he said, gave me his card. He said, look, I want you to give me a call. I got this idea. You know, I want you to, I want you to talk about it. So we sat down. We talked about the idea. We decided that, you know, they, you know the, the man to steamroll this thing for us, you know, one of the strongest black men in America. And he's sitting right beside me. Oh. Look at the cue. That's what, that's, yeah. that's what Quincy came in. You know, he took it to NBC, you know, pitched it, you know, pushed us through and everything. And it went from concept to a pilot in about 13, 14 weeks. 10. 10. Yeah, oh, that 10. Yeah. 10 weeks. Real fast. That's real quick. Like that. How much um, creative input will you have on the show? Well, I pretty much do all my dialogue. You know, it's, it's you know a little, a little difficult for the writers to write. Yo, hi, what's up? You know what it is. I have you know periodic meetings with the writers for different ideas of shows and things like that. So it's very open. He is a, he's an un unbelievable talent. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Die out with him! How come he don't want me, man? The cast is, is is great, and everybody's funny, and and there's no egos. That's that's what's good, you know. It's no, it, there's no, there's no, no egos on no. our show. Everybody it's is ensemble. Ensemble, yeah, absolutely. See, see now, Quincy, you see, he just came up with that word. <laughs> How are you gonna keep yourself energized? I'm just young, you know. People are talking about, oh, I need a rest, you know. I, I don't need a rest. Rest when you're 70. That's you right, know? man. Work, you know <laughs> My father, you know, he owned his own business. He always taught us, you know, work. You know, I mean, you can't do nothing sitting around. Around. You know, I'm 21 years old. What I need rest for? How'd you feel when you find out that you got it? I was in like my dad's friend's house, and it was like built for a jockey, so it was really like the walls were really short. And when I got the phone call, I jumped up and my fist went through the ceiling. I was so happy. It was like this little plastic thing, but <laughs> I was really happy about it. I hope everyone out there will watch it, including my two favorite actors, Joe Pesci and Jack Nicholson. I like to act. I think it, it'll get me ahead in life, you know, starting at such a young age. And I like the attention, I must admit, I like the attention. That's pretty much it. And I like to be on TV. And you like to be interviewed like this. And I like to be interviewed like this. Do you feel pressure at all about the movie? Well, you know, I, I like that, you know. They could compare me to Lee Phoenix, who was my other part, you know. It was his, actually it was him, my other part. And. Uh, well, not really, because then maybe they'll watch it because they want to compare me somewhere, you know? Well, yeah. <laughs>
what do you look for when you? I don't know. I, generally, if it's a good part and a good story, then cool, let's do it. I don't know, man. I, I started out in uh, high school, and uh, my first part was uh, John Proctor in The Crucible, and that was cool. And and then you know, and then I did some Shakespeare. I played Mercutio and uh, Romeo and Juliet. And so, I, and then as I got out here, um, I don't know, man. It's a good part, and you know, when I meet people, look at people, and, and a good thing, you know. As long as I dig it. And, you got to more from you? Yes, I do. Can we talk about it a little bit? Okay, uh, um, no. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, no. <laughs> You're losing the spotlight, dude. You better get tucked. <laughs> you better get tucked into it. It's over. When you take roles. <laughs> when I take roles. When you take roles. <laughs> <laughs> you that role. <laughs> I must have that role. I must have that role. Give me that role. <laughs> Whose role is that? Mine. You can't have it because it's mine. That role is mine. It is mine. Look. Thank <laughs> you.